Hi guys, it's Romina. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be doing a spring manicure using the smooshy technique and also reverse stamping. So I wanted to show you a design on short nails because actually I broke one nail and now I have very short nails and it's so comfortable guys to type, to do everything. So probably I'm going to stay like that for a while. Now for the smooshy part, I'm going to be using these shades from Mooncat. This is a Technicolor Dreams collection, so I will link the video that I did on that collection in the description below so you can see all the shades. I think if you got this collection, you're pretty much covered for all the pastel shades. So I'm going to be doing this on my index and on my pinky. Basically what I do is just smoosh these colors all together and trying to mix them up until I get the result that I like. Uh, and if you have too much polish, you can just press it a little bit with the stamper and you're gonna get all the residue on the border so that you can easily clean it up after. Now we're gonna remove the liquid latex that I put around my fingers and do a little bit of cleanup with a brush. Moving on to the stamping part, I'm going to be using this Uber Chic stamping plate. I really like this one. I got it recently from uh, WhatsApp Nails. I'm going to have here handy also my stamper and my scraper. And I'm going to be stamping with brown. Sometimes I tend to use too much black and honestly it can look very harsh on the nail if you're using very pastel shades. So in this case I wanted to do something more subtle. And I'm going to be using uh, most of the shades from Mooncat uh, just to fill in that design. Here I have a little palette and my dotting tool so I can start painting this design. Uh, this requires a lot of patience. Of course you can see that it has a lot of details and the figures are very small. Um, but it's really fun. I really like to do this one. But if not you have other simple uh, options on the plate like this other one for example that I chose uh, this will allow you to see more of the base color and it won't cover the whole nail so I painted four stampers two for each nail and I think I did it a couple of days ago and I let the lid on so it will protect the design and I just wanted to show you how the palette looked like and I really like the combination of all these colors then I'm going to apply the Orly Bonder on my ring finger and on my um, middle finger. So this is basically to recover the stickiness of the nail and to allow the design to transfer. So I'm going to be using the one that is for full nail in the middle finger. And with the other part of the cuticle pusher, I'm just going to cut the residue and clean up the borders just to make it smooth. Now I'm going to stamp this other one on my ring finger. And this will allow the yellow to pop a little bit and to look a little bit different. Then I'm going to apply the Apipila Smudge Free Top Coat just to make sure that I don't have any smudge. And then just a coat of the Gel Setter by Essie to get that shiny look at the end. So this is the final result. I really, really like it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!